Hello everyone! We've helped out the centaur at the Onarn Plains and renewed the green dragonflight Ofstone. Onwards to the Azure Span and the Blue Dragon Flights. Glania can help direct you toward the Kirin Tor's efforts in the Azure Span. Make sure to tell her Masood and Pekina sent you. Ooh, how many more adventurers should we find? Hmm, oh, uh, maybe three or four more? Five adventurers seems like a good number to have for any task. The Blues have suffered a lot of tragedy at the hands of Nelfarian, Deathwing. Despite, or perhaps because of, their leader Malagos being so close to him, when his brother believed that the Dragfar needed to be placed in magical slumber, Malagos offered his magical aid, made sure to keep it a secret between them. Not even his beloved Sindragosa knew what he had done. And then, when Nelfarian came up with the idea of sealing a portion of their power within the Dragon Soul, it was his brother Malagos that was his strongest supporter. He became utterly enchanted with the artifact. But the Sindragosa, the price to create it, seemed far too steep. She hesitates to even say it, but she does not trust the Earth Order. Her senses were right on the money, as Nelfarian revealed his madness to all by unleashing the Dragon Soul not just on the invading demons, but also the world's defenders, including his fellow dragons. Melagos felt extremely responsible for Burr the thing, so he needed to be the one to destroy it. Just one problem, the Aspects had surrendered a portion of their power, but Nelfarian had done no such thing. The device in his hands made him nearly unstoppable, and so the spellwork of Malagos was easily repelled. Then his flight was drained of the light force and nearly wiped out, while both Malagos and Sindragosa, they were thrown away, far away, where she would die of her injuries and ice crown, to then, many years later, be brought back by Arthas and slain again. Our Malagos would fall to insanity over this great tragedy on his flight, until he regained some sense of it, became an enemy to the world. The world united with the dragons, even some of the blues, and took care of him. Caligos was appointed and empowered to take over as a new aspect. A short reign, as it turned out, as his powers were soon sacrificed to stop Deathwing once and for all. The dawn of the Age of Mortals was upon us, and the dragons... They had a rough time trying to find their place in the world. Caligos would place himself squarely at the side of Jaina Proudmoore and the Kirintor. Now, While the status of their relationship its best described as rocky, the rest of his flight was given the freedom to find their own destiny in the world. A fractured family, scattered across the world of Azeroth while the world kept on turning. Now the call to come home to the Dragon Isles has rung out, but Kaylee quickly saw how few of his flight had answered that call. Thankfully, he still has friends amongst the Kirin Tor to stand with him. Friends like Ketgar, who he kindly asked to come back into the adventure. Good thing too, is we can use all the help we can get in fighting off the Primalists. you for as long as I can. Take those drakes down! Fine work. Hold them. More primalists are coming. Fall back. We'll set up defensive positions. The Kirin Tor shall not fall to these monsters. I must return to the Archives. Send help when you can. The Azure Old Stone is proving... difficult to reclaim. I need to fend off the Primalist to the east. It may fall on you to aid Caligos' adventure. No worries, Ketgar. We'll help out the Aspect of the Blue and his many mirror images that have figured out that there is some kind of problem with the ley lines of the lands. The Azure Span, as behooves the lands of the Blue Dragonflight, they're chock full of magic. Ley lines, they're kind of like Azeroth's veins. They're magical lines of power that run across the world, sometimes converges in places, making them especially powerful. Malagos has tried to pull all the ley lines of the world into the Nexus, hoard the magic of the world away from mortals. The exact opposite of what his flight was supposed to do. He saw this as stopping mortals from abusing magic and safeguarding it. But little did he know that pulling on those ley lines, it actually did a whole lot of damage to the titan spirit that slumbers within the world. Who are you? Affixes, 
Seek. Top. Of. Archives. Malagos. Have. You. Returned? You hear that voice too, don't you? It's calling for Malagos. The previous blue dragon aspect. Oathstone. Is. Awaiting. We'll fix this soon, and find out what secrets the Archives hold. Hmm. I was expecting Malagos. Where is he? And who are you? Malagos. And you... You cannot possibly be... Sindragosa? In a way... A simulacrum, created by her in order to preserve her memories and knowledge. It would seem a great deal of time has passed since she left. Yes. And much has happened. I sense... an aspect. It's a long story. Both you and Malagos are gone. I see. And the rest of our flight? Where are they? Tell me. After Neltharion betrayed us, we were on the verge of extinction. We few who remain are scattered, aimless, and alone. Yet you came here. That tells me that you still have hope for our kin. Child of my flight. Shall we work together to make that hope a reality? <sighs> Nothing would give me more pleasure. What must we do? I'll do what I can to repair any ley lines I find, and send my mirror images to keep an eye on things while I'm gone. Good luck to the two of you. If the Tuskar still live, they should know the location of the major ley lines. Child, you are staring at me instead of departing. Do you have more to say? I apologize. I have heard many legends of you. My mind is swimming with questions to ask. As is mine. Ten thousand years is an incalculable amount of time to miss. My dear, I would ask you to apprise me of what I've missed once this mess is settled. Of course. <laughs> there is so much to tell. The Cataclysm, the Scourge, the other aspects, the Nexus Wars. Child of my flight. Ah, right. I shall return with hopeful news. And I shall aid you in becoming the proper aspect of the Blue Dragonflight. She left the simulacrum behind before flying out to meet the demons during that War of the Ancients. So this is a way for us to get to know Sindragosa before she started yelling at us about her prophetic magics. If you've ever seen Dark Mirror, I've compared this to making a cookie of herself, a copy of the being from over 10,000 years ago. That's going to be the Tusker that can point us in the right direction to fix more of the ley lines and empower this O-Stone. Oh, the Gleam Coves! <laughs> yes, they're everywhere! We try not to disturb them. Chieftain Panoliak knows more about that kind of thing. <laughs> Panoliak passed, remember? Brenna is Chieftain now. Ah, that's right. She was here with the funeral caravan not long ago. You just missed her. Chieftain Brenna could probably tell us all about them. But they're busy escorting a funeral caravan, one that has just been attacked by the local gnolls. These gnolls are usually hostile at the best of times, seeing most creatures as meat for dinner. But ever since, they're now called the Katriarch Ralph Eye discovered decay magic in her first for power. The gnolls have been spreading their dark corrupting magics amongst their tribe, so the Tusker and all of the Azure span will rot in its wake. Unless I missed it. I don't think they've explicitly explained where this surge in decay magic has come from. We could look for it in the realm of death. Think, for example, a death and decay that death knights throw around. We could also look for it in a more corrupted form of druidism. Think, for example, the decay and corruption of the Emerald Nightmare. 
The powers of the Drust, they're similar, and considering that we expected a party in the domain of life and the Emerald Dream during the Shadowlands, perhaps that concept has not been thrown away, perhaps they used it within the Dragonflight as well. Then again, we do have a more elemental explanation that comes right from the Chronicles, considering the rise of the elements and the primalists that we see. Perhaps this is where the Norse found their power as well. The elements of fire, air, earth and water serve as the basic building blocks of all matter in the physical universe. Shamanic cultures have long sought to live in harmony with or assert dominion over these elements. To do so, they call upon the primordial forces of spirits and decay. Those who seek to bring balance to the elements rely on spirits, sometimes referred to as the fifth element by shaman or chi by monks. This life-giving force interconnects and binds all things in existence as one. Decay is a tool for shamans seeking to subjugate and weaponize the elements themselves. Many shamanic cultures have discovered that the elements can influence a variety of emotional states. For this reason, mortals often associate the elements with different feelings, both positive and negative. For spirits, the positive trait is bravery, while the negative trait would be naivete. In decay, the positive trait is efficiency, while the negative trait is ruthlessness. The kobolds sure do embody that, which is why we often come to blows with them, as we can't allow them to spread the decay across all of the azure span, let alone eat away at the ley lines that we need. I'm so sorry to see Tuskar have been captured and killed here. If only I'd arrived sooner. Thank you for your kindness. Decay is part of the natural cycle. We all return to the earth. But this... This is a perversion. The Azure Archives have a vast collection of magical items. I won't have much control over this, but surely something useful will come out. Nope, not that. Definitely not that. I'm losing connection. Come on. I think this will do. Oh my. Let's do this, friend. Hop on the book. By Norganon's beard, this thing has a temper. Hold on. There. Now, first take down those shamans holding a barrier around the ancient. Ancient is vulnerable. Quickly, throw everything we have at it. It's not enough. Come, my friends, my family. Help us protect our home. Excellent. Now to the cave, before more come. I am here. Thank you. So he is flesh and blood after all. We were beginning to suspect you were also some spirit. <laughs> I assure you, I am very much alive. Now, hero, destroy those pockets of decay that remain. I'll funnel arcane power back into the rotted part of the ley line. It may just be able to restore its power. What is this? This shifting of the energy of the Earth itself? What power? Just who are you, mage? <sighs> it's done. Thank you for your assistance, all of you. I've placed a barrier around this ley line to ensure it's protected from further decay. Let's leave this place before more of those gnolls descend upon us. I should get back to the Azure Archives now. I'm glad I was able to help your people, Brenna. Nonsense. You must join us as well. Nothing could be more important than a warm bowl of soup after a difficult battle. And I thought you would want to discuss the other Gleam Coves. Others? You know the locations of more ley lines? Oh, none so large as the one in Brackenhide, but there are many smaller ones scattered about. I have some maps I can show you once we reach Iskara. I'm sorry for the delay. I'll join you soon, but I think these Tuskar may have some valuable information. <sighs> There's no need for concern. Everything is calm up at the tower. I have it perfectly under control. What a charming town. Why don't you relax a bit? Take it easy for once, Kallik. I... 
Yes. It's been a while. Please, uh, let me know the moment you need anything. I won't be long. Thank you for taking this time, Brenna. It is an honor. Let's have a look at these maps. Tukanit, could you please ensure our guest gets a bowl of soup? Shall we- Nonsense! Look how thin you are! Some eel gut soup will get some much needed blubber on those bones. S -s some uh, what? As our Kalik gets some well needed gains and blubber, we get to explore the lovely settlement of Ishkara, become more acquainted with the Tusker, who for many generations now have called the Dragon Isles home. After many harsh winters on the ice, they've learned to value the warmest things in life. Friends, family, a hot bowl of soup, and a long story told over the crackling fire. We even get to join the community feast and make some good soup. After a bit, they're ready for the funeral ceremony to start. And given how kind they've been to us, Kalik decides to join them before departing back to the archives. We were hoping you would join us, friends. A chieftain's return to the sea is a celebration for all. If you don't mind me asking, how did he pass? Was it the Nulls? Oh no, Caligos. It was simply his time. Pinoliak was a stubborn old coot, but even he had to succumb to age eventually. Not all deaths are violent, dear friend. To be honest, I can't remember a time when they weren't. Go ahead, friend. You can have the honor of pushing his boat out to sea. For your help protecting Iskara. You treasured us all. May the seas find you as worthy as we do. has chosen Pinolia. What a life! I... Uh, forgive me. I don't understand. How can you find such joy in the passing of family? It is not that we are not sad for his passing, Kalik, But in celebrating his life, he shall remain with us forever. What better way to strengthen the bonds of the family that remains than celebrating all who came before? You're leaving? The celebration has only just begun! Thank you, Brenna. And everyone. I have learned more than I imagined in my short time in your company. Despite tragedy, you all remain kind and resolute. Because of your community. Because of family. The power the Blue Dragonflight is missing is not ley lines or ancient artifacts. It's family. I must go to them. But if you ever have need of me, simply call. I will hear you. And I'll come as swiftly as my wings can carry me. It is time for the Blue Dragons to once more be the guardians of this land. I... I see... Huh. You could have said something about being a dragon from the beginning. Seems an important detail to leave out. Well, you'd best be back any time you need a good meal. There will always be a warm bowl of soup for you here, Cal. I look forward to it. Take care, Brenna, Noruk, everyone. A 
find you, of course, my friend. I cannot thank you enough. I hope you will make yourself at home and know that you always have a family in Iskara. Kalik has learned a lot about family today. The bonds of this community, the friendship and family they share. He's never had that. The blue flight never had that. And maybe that's because they haven't had a chance to. Time to get over his fear of reuniting the blue dragons and change all of that. It is time to send word as the aspect and call his flight home. I hope that worked. I need my flight. We will see in due time. Khadgar, what's happened? The Primalists are on the move. It seems we did far too well at stymieing their efforts at Vakthros. Razageth has renewed the attack herself. If Vakthros falls, the whole of the Azure Span will fall with it. Quickly then, we must stop her before all is lost. Hopefully, we won't have to face her alone. Vakthros is connected to the major ley lines in Azure Span. If it is destroyed, the Archives would cease to exist along with the rest of the Azure Span. I don't suppose any more blue dragon showed up to help? Not yet. It will be up to us to stop this. All will be well. Child, you cannot show any mercy to Razageth. She has made her choice. I understand. No, you do not. You have a kind soul. I know you hesitate at the thought of fighting any more of your own kind. I showed too much mercy once. Twice. Many times. Before long, it was too late. You speak of Neltharion's betrayal. Do not make my mistake, young one. There can be no mercy without justice. Remember that. Thank you, Sindragosa. I will. I hope you truly do, my dear. Hard to say for certain what Sindragosa means by showing too much mercy. But we can guess that it has something to do with not speaking out about Nelfarian and her misgivings for the Dragon Soul. There's also documentation in which she supports the Highborn's journey into magic. Whereas Malagos, he has great concerns where they might take all of this, which would be into the War of the Ancients. Sindragosa also asks us to go into the Azure Vault, which is a place created by Malagos for his beloved, to catalog and store any curious magical artifacts that he found. Locked away and deserted for millennia now, the vault has since fallen into disrepair, leaving it vulnerable to attacks from within and without. For over 10,000 years, this place has been left on its own, which hasn't exactly been good for the things. Azure Blade, for example, they refused to leave the vault when they closed it up upholding her duty to keep it safe. When the blue dragons failed to return, her bitter resignation drove her to eventual madness. Now extending her own life with the magic she was sworn to protect, she claims ownership over all that the blue dragonflight left behind. Can you imagine being trapped in a vault for so long? No wonder that she went crazy. But not the only thing that was left behind and forgotten. Millennia ago, Umbriskal unwillingly meddled with raw arcane power. Riddled with crystalline growths, he was taken to the Azure Vault until a cure could be found. Sadly, the vault was sealed away before the research was completed, which left Umbreskal sleeping in stasis. Until now. My dear one. He knew that wild magic was dangerous, but he meddled with it anyway. By the time we found him, we could not stop the growth. I placed him in stasis until I could find a proper cure. And then... I was gone. Champion, you did what was needed and ended his suffering. Thank you. I am but a simulacrum. But once... 
I was a mother as well. Please, leave me to mourn. We'll do just that and reunite with Katkar and Caligos, who got their hands full with the attack from the Primalist and Razageth herself. Razageth, I am giving you one chance to stop this insanity. Your flight lies in ruins. What good did clinging to Titan magic do for you? At least your predecessor was an aspect to be feared. You play with powers you do not understand. I am no stranger to putting down maddened dragons, Radziketh. You will be nothing more than a footnote in our history. During beta times, we saw the mention a couple of times that order magic was similar to RK magic, which made a strong link between magic wielders and the domain of order. It seems that they have mellowed out a little bit on the dialogue. The kidnap mages do still mention being taken for using RK magic, and that studying the titan's corruption made them a target for the primalists. Razak and the forces, they're all about those primalistic elements. Let us join Caligos and show them what the aspect of magic can do. Face the might of the aspect of magic! Ha! I will put an end to you and your pathetic flight. Adventurer, you made it not a moment too soon. Razageth is draining the tower of its energy. Your cause is hopeless. Soon this land will lie in ruins. Just like your dragon flight. Pathetic mortals, cowering behind the blue dragons and their titan magic. You will die alongside them. Minions of the storm, hear my call! The shield won't last much longer. to destroy this tower, but I will have my prize. our aid have come the Azure Wing, blue dragons that those of you who play during Legion know very well. Senegos is ancient, supposedly the oldest non-aspect dragon still alive. They were getting close to the end of their tail back in Legion, until we helped them out with just one more adventure, and looks like they're ready for just one more adventure. Pretty cool visage form as well. Now his granddaughter Stelagosa, she was a great help during the Nightborn Rebellion, aiding us with ley lines, potentially getting really close to Vault 3. Even Emagosa has managed to escape our pet battle collection, and they joined the fights. Please, return to the Azure Archives. Sindragosa is awaiting our return, and we should be able to reclaim the Old Stone. Sindragosa? She has returned from the grave. I'll explain on the way. Let's go. And I 
thought I had seen it all in my old age. Tell me, what have you learned, child of my flight? What is your oath? We've been scattered for far too long. Isolated. But a dragon flight is more than an oath we make. We are a family. And it's time I brought my family home. I do believe you are ready, Caligus. The O-Stone is empowered once more. Now there's much to do, but the Azure Span is at least returning to what it once was. We should convene with the other aspects, share word of what happened here today, but that's gonna be a story for next time. Now I'm really curious to see what more details they're going to reveal of the history between Malagos and Sindragosa. Quite a few blank pages for the time before the flight was nearly wiped out. And what about Archaelic? How will his role as aspect of magic play out in the war against the Primalist and beyond? All of that is going to be for the future, I suppose. So for now, thank you very much for watching everyone. Subscribe if you like my videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. And until next time. See ya!